In our final chapter on rendering, we'll look at your options for exporting images out of 3ds Max. Here are some images that I rendered using the ART or Autodesk Ray Trace engine. And I've got several different versions with different lighting schemes. Some use interior artificial light and some use exterior daylighting. Here's a morning shot and there's an afternoon shot and an evening or night shot of the same scene. Here's our living room in the daylight with a little bit of artificial light added. And then also here's the night shot. And again, these were all rendered with ART or the Autodesk Ray Tracer. Let's look at the options for renderers so you'll know which one to choose for your particular project or application. The default renderer in 3ds Max is the Scanline renderer. And it is the original renderer that shipped with version one of 3ds Max. Quicksilver hardware is a GPU renderer that is suitable for draft quality or preview renders. You can also use the Nitrous Display Driver, which is very closely related to Quicksilver. It's another hardware renderer, but it actually gives you a few more options than Quicksilver does. ART, or the Autodesk Ray Tracer, is a physically accurate renderer that excels at photorealistic stills. And the Arnold renderer is new in 3ds Max 2018 after the acquisition of the developer Solid Angle. Autodesk now owns Solid Angle and the Arnold renderer is finding its way into various Autodesk applications. The Scanline renderer, once again, is the default renderer. It's very fast compared to ART or Arnold and it uses the CPU or the central processing unit on your computer. So it's known as a software renderer. It's not physically accurate, unlike ART or Arnold. It has only basic features. However, it does support some things that the other renderers do not, such as the tune shader material known as ink and paint. If you want to do non-photoreal rendering, then the scanline renderer is probably your best option. The Quicksilver hardware renderer is a very fast GPU renderer. It uses your video hardware. The quality of the end result depends upon your hardware. If you've got a very good graphics card or subsystem, then you'll be able to achieve better quality using Quicksilver. Quicksilver is suitable for draft or stylized renders but it is limited by the features that have been made available in the render setup dialog box. Nitrous is the technology that drives the viewports in 3ds Max. It's known as the display driver. You can render using Nitrous from the menu Tools, Preview, Grab Viewport. Nitrous is not available from the render setup dialog. The cool thing about Nitrous is that it is a what you see is what you get situation or a WYSIWYG. What you see in the viewport is exactly what you'll get when you render a preview using Nitrous. Some features that are not available in Quicksilver are available for the Nitrous display driver if you go into the viewport menu. For example, Quicksilver has a limitation on the number of lights that you can render at any one time. But if you render using the Nitrous display driver, there is no such limitation. Because of all of this, Nitrous can actually achieve better results than Quicksilver. It's kind of ironic, but the preview screen capture technique yields higher quality than the traditional method of offline sequence rendering. ART, or the Autodesk Ray Tracer, is another software renderer, and it is physically accurate, unlike the Scanline renderer. However, ART is limited by real-world laws of physics. This is kind of crazy, but if you can't do it in the real world, then you can't do it in ART. In other words, you can't exclude lights and shadows. Really, you can't break the rules. However, ART is very easy to set up. All you need to do is adjust one quality slider and you're off and running. ART is really best suited for photorealistic still imagery. Finally, new in 3ds Max 2018 is the Arnold renderer from Solid Angle. It too is physically accurate, just like ART, and the underlying technology is very similar. 
However, Arnold does not have the limitation of real-world physics. Arnold will allow you to break the rules and do things like exclude lights and shadows. Arnold is generally faster and more flexible than ART. Under similar conditions, the Arnold renderer will complete the image before the ART renderer will. Because of all these factors, Arnold is the best renderer all around in 3ds Max currently. It's suitable for photorealistic still images and animations, whereas ART, because it's slower, is really only best for still imagery. And those are the options for stock renderers in 3ds Max 2018.